Hey guys, it's Tina from Beads and Yarn. Today I want to show you another knitting project that I have been working on for a few months. I did make a few other pairs, but uh, unfortunately I don't have them today to show in this video because uh, I did gift a few pairs during the holidays and I did sell a few pairs as well. Um, I have a completed pair here in this color, which is like a white or kind of like an off-white color with the dark gray and then the two, the two stripes and the lighter gray. Now what I do like about this pattern compared to other pattern is that there's decreases in the middle which kind of shapes your leg so it doesn't look like shapeless or bunched up like other patterns that I've seen. So this part here is about five to six inches in the ribbing which is a one by three ribbing. After you're done your ribbing you knit about three inches when you reach three inches, that's where you start your decrease row. So this will be, you knit two together uh, for the round, and then you knit another three inches, then you'll do a decrease round again, three inches, and then another decrease round. And it kind of like shapes up the thicker part of your leg. Uh, what's fun about this pattern is that you can change it up to how you want, like if you want a shorter leg warmer that starts below your knee, then you don't have to knit as long once you do your decrease um, area right here. So you can make that part shorter if you like. But this length, this specific length I really like. It looks super cute. Um, I like to wear mine on top of leggings, especially when it's like chilly outside. And what's fun about this pattern is that you can actually wear them all year round. It doesn't only have to be when it's super cold. Uh, they look cute with like either a pair of shorts or a skirt, uh, but my favorite way to wear them is just on top of a pair of leggings. It's super comfortable and it, it's fun. Um, I started another one in this color, which I really love. It's a color changing yarn. Uh, so you, as you can tell from here, it's a little bit lighter at the top and after, after a couple inches, uh, you can kind of see the color change to a darker gray all the way down to the bottom. Once I start the second, uh, the second one for this pair, um, I'm going to start with the darker shade of the gray because that's where I'm at in the yarn. So it will be the opposite. So the gray, the top part will be darker, and then it will slowly go to the lighter color. So this is the one that I'm knitting now. I know I'm not finishing I'm not finished this one yet, but I kind of get bored of the color, so I just start another pair. And then when I'm done this one, I'll probably go back to the gray one and finish that one. Um, I believe this one was called camo or camouflage, but I could be wrong, I'm not sure, but I, I do like color changing yarns and I like the pattern it creates. I, I don't know, I, I find it's just fun. Uh, but if you guys want to make your own, uh, I, like I mentioned earlier, I will post, post the pattern down below. And if you make your own, let, let me know. Send me a pic. I'd love to see what you guys do. So thank you for watching and happy knitting. Bye.